Now, everybody, as with every language question, as I say, look, just read the text only for context. So if you are battling with time, just head straight into the question. So refer to the title, replace the word spin with a formal English word. So how Africa is giving fast food a new spin, a new look, a new appeal, a new flavor, a new outlook, anything along those lines. I like appeal. 5.2, provide the homophone of the word Q. Homophone, so a word that sounds exactly the same, but that's spelled differently. So we can go Q, you know, like a, like a pool Q. 5.3, replace the commas and lines three and four. So there's line three, line four. Uh, with suitable alternative punctuation marks, uh, we can just use dashes or we can use brackets to indicate that, you know, explanation, that parentheses over there. Uh, we can use simply dashes or we can use brackets, okay? Because we're getting additional information. A chain, chain of fast food restaurants. 5.4, there's a Concord error in paragraph two. So feel free to pause the video, try and solve it on your own. So Kenya and Nigeria offers it should just be offer we are dealing with two countries here so if it was just uh, kenya then kenya offers the desirable ingredients but if it's kenya and nigeria kenya and nigeria offer so from offers to offer this is how you should write it in your exam offers to offer drop the s there 5.5 uh, some international chains have tailored their products to local tastes that's going to be in line 10 uh, rewrite the above sentence in passive voice so the object here is going to be their products. So their products have been tailored, because past tense, to local tastes by some international chains. So their products have been tailored to local tastes by some international chains. So start with the object, subject shifts, go with the verb. So their products have been tailored, make sure it's in past tense, to local tastes by some international chains. 5.6. Uh, provide an antonym, an antonym is just opposite uh, for the word profound. So something is not profound, it's shallow, basic, minimal, superficial. Because profound is like, wow, this, you know, this huge impact, you know, it could be, like, it's, it's, it's very, it's, it's sufficient, it's in depth. So we want something shallow here, something insufficient, something limited. Those are the possible answers. I like shallow, basic. Refer to paragraph three, remove the redundancy. They also use the word tautology. Like I always say, oh, I'm reversing the car backwards. No, you're either reversing the car or you're moving backwards. Uh, remove the redundancy in paragraph three. So it's really huge. Feel free to pause the video and try and find the redundancy. It's actually with local and homegrown. Oh, local tastes or homegrown tastes. Same thing. It's like you're just trying to say the exact same thing. So you either remove local or homegrown. It's very repetitive. And 5.7.2, malapropism. Oh, I swam in the specific ocean. Uh, you didn't swim in the specific ocean, you swam in the Pacific Ocean. So, you know, very similar word, similar sounding word, just used incorrectly. Uh, this one is a little bit more difficult. So apart from their profound knowledge of local homegrown tastes, their chains are also adapt at managing a business. They're not adapt at managing a business, they're adept. Okay, like they're not, they're knowledgeable, like they've got the know-how. And 5.8, he added that ultimately it was a gamble on the future. So that's line 18. Line 18 is here. I rewrite the above sentence in direct speech. So it's going to be, he added, you need to remove the that because that's going to be an indirect speech. So he added in the place of the that, we put a comma, open a quotation mark, capitalize the U. So comma, quotation mark, capitalize the U, uh, full stop, quotation mark. And that's 